Hold on, Liberty. I want to cross the road. I want to go across the road. Never mind. Sir? Yes, sir. Um, we're not going to be concerned about you standing out here and filming. If you go and approach that prison again, we get a call about it. We're going to come up here and arrest you. Oh, so you're threatening me with arrest for being on a publicly accessible road? That's what leads up. You've been told by an employee from, from the prison to stay off the prison grounds. Oh, so Perhaps I'm not I'm not allowed to go up and get information. No. Nope. No. Okay. No. So you're denying me access to uh, information from the prison. Yes, I am. Okay. And who are you? Captain Carl with Fort Mass Police Department. Okay. So obviously everybody needs educated around here. Do you have any questions? No. No, I don't have any questions. You guys are dismissed. Y'all been dismissed for probably 15 minutes now. All right. Have a good day. Yep. You too. I'll be up there next. Just so you're aware, I'm coming to your station right now. Welcome back to We The People University. My name is Abaya Israel, former police officer, former sheriff deputy. Open up, police! Today's video is brought to you by the YouTube channel, Illinois Tyrant Patrol. If you have not subscribed to his channel already, please go subscribe. Many people still don't understand. Why do auditors do what they do? The point is, if you don't use your rights, you will lose your rights. And I must admit, there are videos of auditors that I've seen that I would say maybe need to learn a little bit more before they start the auditing process. But generally speaking, and also the point is to make sure we the people don't lose our rights. So therefore we must exercise our rights. As we can clearly see, our rights are slowly slipping away being taken by the tyranny in America today. We must all stand up, stand on our rights and speak out and make sure our rights are not taken away. Let's take a look at this video. The Illinois Tyrant Patrol is out at the Iowa State Prison when the police department, Fort Madison, comes up and gives him all type of hassle. Let's check this out. So we rode our bikes back this way because there's no signs right here saying that it's, you know, private property or publicly, not publicly accessible. And uh, so we rode back over in here and Dum Dum decides to tell me that we're on private property. I understand it's penitentiary property, but this is a public accessible road to their visitors' parking lot. So, uh, he escorted us back up here, saying that this was a private road. Um, and he said there's a sign up here, but the only sign is this canine dog on premises sign warning that's it oh, not bad. Yeah, yeah i know and it's over if this road he says it's private but there's no sign saying it's not so i mean and there's the, the parking lot's right there right that's where you go in to visit somebody right so this is open road right Ooh, right and see and then he's trying to tell me it's private but I, I know it's not you know it's not because the public that how do i go and visit somebody if i want to visit somebody right Right, so that's where I mean I would go to to the door though to find out you know on information on how to visit somebody, right? Yeah, I mean, that's their right, right, right. See, and I say it on. You're good as long yeah. as you're on like, the road. Roadway. Right, right. The roadway, like meaning this roadway. Oh, see, no, no, no. See, that's where that's where I'm gonna contest because um, there's no sign saying I can't go down this road. He said there's no uh, no access, you know, no public access, um, only whatever personnel. Well, that's warning canine dog on premises, right? There's no signs all the way down this road. None. Zero zilch. Right, but this road so I rode it. Okay, but it's the drive to the accessible point of the prison where you go in to visit somebody. But it's like, okay, so my house has a driveway. Right. right? And that's how up to your house or up your sidewalk right. to knock on your door. But the driveway is still my property. Right. right? So this driveway is still their property. So, hey. Like a roadway, anybody. Right, or, roadway. you know, I mean, this is all like, public. Like I said, I don't know where the line is. Right. And that's, that's their discrepancy. Yeah. Right, and see, that's um, what I'm saying. But look, what, what's this coming up the street here? The pizza guy. I open to the public. You can take pizza in there, deliver it to somebody. Why can't I drive down that road? 
same, are, same reason why. I mean, that's the thing. Yeah, I'm, I'm just the same thing now. I'm here they can, they have to, to get information on how the business is. Like I said, right. at a certain point, they're allowed to tell somebody to get off this. Sure, sure. The road but, road way. but like I said, though, what if I'm trying to get information on how to visit somebody? Uh, I mean, I, I have to go inside. Yeah, and you're welcome to come down the road. That's what I was trying to do, and he told me I had to leave. And he has the right to tell you to leave. How just though? Like, just like my driveway, I can tell you to leave as soon as you want. Okay. Go find where the line is. And this is the point I'm trying to make. If they don't want the public, which is us, coming down this road, there needs to be a sign right in here. Pardon my language, y'all. Right here, saying that authorized personnel only. Correct? Well, I mean, yeah. So uh, let me explain to you why I'm here. Right? Yeah. So they, this is a county issue. I right. work for the city. Mm -hmm. County's a ways out. Oh, okay. So you're you're here until county comes. Yeah, we're trying to figure out what's going on. Yeah, no, that, that, and that's that's why I'm just trying to stress my point that I mean, if it's a privately, you know, a only authorized personnel road, or what what he said is authorized personnel. I mean, it's only supposed to be on this road. But well, then how do you go back to the parking lot? Okay. Let me ask you this: just just food for food for thought. Sure. Okay. So let's say you got two neighbors that live in town, houses are close together. Right? Mm -hmm. So you're trying to figure out. Who, well, that's what he said too. I mean, that's and this is how do you figure out who mows what? What you do is GIS survey. Okay. Okay. And the GIS survey shows this road is publicly accessible. Okay. Do you go up to somebody's house to figure out where their property line is and ask them for their GSI survey? No, you look it on Google. I mean, are you not, you know, hear the brain or something? I mean, it's kind of website, yeah, which we did. And this is a publicly accessible road because it goes to the parking lot. Now, that one down there, there's a sign. Authorized personnel only, which you can't go past that point. Okay, cool. That's why we came down here because I knew you could go past this point. Not a house. <laughs> I'm not trying to invade somebody's property, private property. That's private property. I can't go on their property. That's private property. I can't go on their property. This is public accessible road down to the public parking lot where I can go to visit somebody or get information from inside the prison about the prison. Uh, Liberty Freak, this is uh, Fort Madison Police Department. I'm in Fort Madison, Iowa, and we're on, oh, look at that. I guess. <laughs> uh -oh, this is the old school one. He's number one. So this is, a, this is a third cop now that has showed up on scene. I don't think I want to break into the prison. No. So <laughs> he's going back up here. Hey, Frank, long time to see. <laughs> Meeting of the minds. Oh no, um, uh, hold on a second here. They're fine to keep filming and everything. Mm -hmm. um, they just want you to stay on the, uh, uh, on the shoulder of the road. There you go. You got your name paper. Yeah, I got my name. Hold on. I just fill your first name. Uh, Y O U R F I R S T N A M E. Your first name. There you go. No? You want my name? Do you want it? No? I mean, so you see, stay on the shoulder of the roadway. Okay. You stay off the dark, okay? okay, is there is there uh, somebody else that's better informed than you guys coming? Because obviously nobody's informed. Um, this this is fully accessible.
which I believe it is, because there's been signs that say all no authorized personnel or only authorized personnel. That is a public parking lot for visitors if they want to go in. And that's the same place you go in if you want to get information on the prison. Right? Okay. So, I mean, I want to go up to the door and get my information and leave. That's what I want to do. That's why I'm here. The prison has a right to, to not want you on the property. They can, they can request to leave the property if they want to. I can understand they can request. That's a request. Um, there's a difference between a request and an actual order. Okay. Well, so they requested us to ask you to leave. Okay, then again, you're asked and you're asking me, so I'm going to deny and I'm going to stay here and film. Could be possibly placed under arrest. For what? For trespass on public property? On a public easement? I don't think so. You know how big of a lawsuit you would get into for that? And your qualified immunity would be gone. Gone. I would take your department for everything it's got. Millions. Okay. In several videos, you may hear auditors say, hey, this is a public property. Why? There's an easement here. But I want you to be absolutely clear. Every time you see an easement, it does not equate to public property. You can also find easements on private property. There are several different types of easements. I just want to talk about the public easement so that you can be clear. So when you hear these terms, you know the difference. A property easement is a legal situation in which the title to a specific piece of land remains with the landowner. But another person or organization is given the right to use the land for a distinct purpose. For example, a utility company may have an easement that allows them to access an electrical pole on your property. Or you could have an easement on part of your property if it blocks access to a main road. A public easement is a special type of property ownership. When an easement exists on a piece of land, the owner of that land must permit others to use the easement for the stated purpose. If the easement is a public easement, the person who owns the land has to allow members of the public to access a defined area of his land for the reason stated in the easement. I just want to be perfectly clear. Just because you're at a, let's say a business and you see an easement and you state, hey, this is public property. Not necessarily. It can be their property but they have to allow you as the general public to be able to access that easement. An easement is a right to use someone else's land for your benefit. One property is usually benefited and the other property burdened by an easement. Easements can be public, private, positive, or negative. So in this video, the Illinois Tire Patrol is actually right. This is public property, why it's state owned. So this belongs to the people. But I just wanna make sure that you know the difference. There are several different types of easements. I just wanna make sure that you know the difference and what you're doing. So if you're gonna become an auditor, know what you're doing. I mean, do you know what the First Amendment is? Sure. Do you know, can you recite the First Amendment to me? Do you know your oath? Can you recite your oath to me? Are you gonna move off the property? I'm not on the property, I'm on public easement. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I move over here on the edge. That's no problem. Yeah, I ain't gonna block the drive. But I mean, you guys are obviously block the drive. So, I mean, look, they're all blocking the drive. Me as a body can't block the drive because I'm out in the way. So this is public. Uh, yeah, so right now it's 42 USC 1985, which you're trying to violate me for. Go away, B. So. And I've got the paperwork actually on me, guys. Got paperwork? Thank you. Wow, folks, check this out. You guys want to read this? Okay, that's what I thought. So, I guess you guys are dismissing. Have a nice day. I'm going to be right here. Inspiring minds want to know. So here's the deal. We really can't do anything because he's actually on public property.
Uh oh. Not my key cars. Don't want me to get me for littering. Hold on, Liberty. I want to cross the road. I want to go across the road. Never mind. Sir? Yes, sir. Um, we're not going to be concerned about you standing out here and filming. If you go and approach that prison again, and we get a call about it, we're going to come up here and arrest you. Oh, so you're threatening me with arrest for being on a publicly accessible road? That you, leads you've been, up. You've been told by an employee from, from the prison to stay off the prison grounds. Oh, so I'm not I'm not allowed to go up and get information. No. Nope. No. Okay. No. So you're denying me access to uh, information from the prison. Yes, I am. Okay. And who are you? Captain Carl with Fort Mass Police Department. Okay. So obviously everybody needs educated around here. Do you have any questions? No. No, I don't have any questions. You guys are dismissed. Y'all been dismissed for probably 15 minutes now. All right. Have a good day. Yep. You too. I'll be up there next. Just so you're aware, I'm coming to your station right now. I'm gonna go film it too, and inside. I'll be in your public lobby in a minute. I must state, I found it hilarious when the officer requested ID. He pulled up a piece of paper with the letters ID on it. Just a little bit of humor inside of a serious situation. It is a serious thing that the people rights are being stripped daily. Remember, you must stand up for your rights. Down below is a link to my ebook. Make sure you download it. You can also click on the link above my head. My ebook is going to help you understand what you can and cannot do and what the police can and cannot do when you encounter them. Make sure you learn your rights. Don't be caught lacking. So for all of you who are reaching out to me asking about becoming an auditor, you must know your rights. Learn the laws. Learn what you can and cannot do. That being said, we the People University, signing off.